you could never escape the clamor of traffic in Delhi until the lockdown. To me, the meaning of a ghost city really hit home when I drove down an arterial road that leads to a business hub close to my house. I used to crawl in a sea of cars here. Now, I passed just a handful of vehicles and two police barriers because the checks are very strict. Gone were the street carts, gone were the roadside shacks that make an Indian city so lively. The hoardings all carried messages about coronavirus instead of selling cars and smartphones. Inside my complex, things are not very different. The rules are very strict. We are not supposed to step out even for exercise, only for essential jobs. So there are no more joggers, no more walkers, no more friendly neighborhood chats. Of course, rules are flouted sometimes. I watched a group of youngsters sneak out the other day to play a game of cricket. Fortunately for us, we have a small vegetable store and a grocery store inside our complex which are up and running. Now these men are not complaining that they cannot stay safe in their homes. On the other hand, they cheerfully tell me they are happy that their businesses are up and running when almost everything else is shut. For them, the coronavirus is a distant threat. Protecting their livelihoods is their first priority. And as I work these days, I look out on clear blue skies, something we in the Indian capital could not have imagined even two weeks ago. We are the world's most polluted capital city. But even though we are breathing cleaner air, we are not breathing easy. The nagging question for all of us, what if the infection spirals out of control in a city of 20 million?